Today, there are regions in the world that are experienced GPS jamming and GPS spoofing events based on their proximity to areas of geopolitical tension and for other reasons. There are aircraft flights that are being canceled or rerouted. There are ships that are having challenges getting to their destinations because of a loss or a disruption of GPS or GNSS systems. These are amazing systems, but complements and augmentations are needed and the world is becoming keenly aware of that. So when they think of GPS, a lot of people think of the blue dot on their smartphone or their smartwatch that help them to navigate around the city. It turns out GPS actually does a lot more than that. It's integrated into almost everything we do, the things that keep us connected, the things that keep us moving. And it's used not only for positioning, but also for timing. Uh, many things that require timing or time synchronization, like data centers, the power grid, 5G networks, all rely today on GPS for time and or location. So a great example where GPS timing is relied on very heavily is with data centers. Distributed databases and, and other aspects of data centers that require widespread or wide area networking rely very heavily on timing to ensure that the communication and the synchronization between those different nodes of the network are done efficiently. Uh, having a very accurate time synchronization across a distributed network allows much higher throughput of information and also ensures the integrity of the database. And these are the sorts of areas where GPS is being relied on today. And because of these vulnerabilities in GPS, it's really important to have a secure backup and complement to those capabilities. That's what we provide with Satellite Time and Location, or STL, and we provide it on a global basis. So there are a number of important characteristics that make STL, or Satellite Time and Location, unique. Uh, one is it's delivered over low Earth orbit satellites. LEO satellites, the Iridium satellite network, is actually much closer to the Earth than GPS and GNSS satellites, actually 25 times closer to the Earth. On average, the STL signal is about a thousand times more powerful than you would get from a GPS or a GNSS system. This means that the signal is much more resilient to jamming, interference, and perhaps most importantly, it means that the signal can actually work indoors, where a lot of users need a time and location signal and where GPS and GNSS don't reach. So there are a number of characteristics that make the Iridium satellite network ideally suited for PNT. The first is that it's in the L-band. L-band is the sweet spot for position navigation and timing because the signals do not suffer from rain fade. They're incredibly reliable. And it turns out that because GPS and other GNSS systems are also in the L-band, the user equipment can actually utilize the same antennas and same RF front ends of the receivers to enable them to track the signal. L-band is a unique and limited resource, and we have the advantage of having secured the rights to that spectrum, which is ideally suited for PNT. Another unique aspect of the Iridium network that allows it to be incredibly well suited for PNT is the satellite crosslinks. The entire global network is crosslinked together, and that allows us to keep the whole solution for PNT synchronized at the ground segment level with a limited number of ground monitoring sites. So unlike other technologies that are available today or that are contemplated, STL has the unique advantage that it is globally available. It's not localized to certain regions of the world. It's also extremely high power, which allows it to overcome jamming and it allows it to work indoors where other technologies can't reach. And last but not least, it's incredibly secure. Based on the unique signal structure and the cryptographic capability on the signal, it's incredibly challenging to speak. So one of the great aspects of STL for complementary time and location is that the form factor to incorporate this technology into solutions is actually exactly the same form factor that solutions are using today. So if you take a 5G network, a data center node, a power grid, they're all using GPS equipment today. A piece of equipment that incorporates STL into it is really just a drop-in replacement for those devices. So it's all in completely seamless to the user. So the STL partners that we work with today are already providing GPS solutions and GNSS solutions to the market. So what they do is they incorporate STL into those products 
and those products behave and work exactly as GPS products would, only they bring that additional resilience and they bring that additional indoor capability with them. So for some applications, an entire refresh of equipment is not really necessary. The STL capability can be added either through a module or through an external device, or for those who are looking to integrate more thoroughly, this capability can actually be integrated into a device that's being sold into the market. Now is the time to really get this capability into the hands of those people who really need it. Because STL is the only solution in the market today that solves the problem of resilience of GPS and GNSS systems.